Hello, visuals, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Visual Guys Wrestling Predictions. Well, WWE predictions. We don't actually do anything like AEW or Impact or anything like that. But it's time to predict some more wrestling outcomes because at the time of recording, we have a wrestling show tomorrow. And I think in the UK, it started at five, which is a lot better for us. Um, but it's a WWE Elimination Chamber over in Saudi Arabia. <sighs> I'm not going to get political because I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. But we do have a fun pay-per-view. A pay-per-view I usually do enjoy the fuck out of. Two Elimination Chamber matches as well. Uh, Roman Reigns in there with, with Goldberg. Who else have we got? Drew's got a, a bit of a pointless match if you ask me. But okay. Uh, but it should still be a fun um, show. With the Elimination Chamber with Bobby and Brock in it. should be freaking awesome. But officials, are we ready to sit down, talk, and give our predictions for WWE Elimination Chamber 2022? Let me know your thoughts, predictions, and whatnot in the comments. And to kick things off, uh, I will point out as well, actually not to kick things off, to point out quickly, uh, these are all the matches uh, according to WWE and their website. There is still one more episode of SmackDown to air before the pay-per-view. But these are the matches they've got up now. Uh, and again, so there, there could be stuff changing throughout. But as it stands, these are the matches. These are my predictions. Properly kicking off. It's Rey Mysterio against The Miz in a feud that's only been building the last, what, week or two? A feud that, to me, hasn't got a great deal in it. I think it's just to, to get it up there. We should see a, a decent match regardless. But this one's easy for me. It's just Rey. Drew McIntyre against Madcap. Um... Not to say that it'll be a bad match, it's just one that I'm not overly invested in. Made it a bit more interesting when they said it's a false count anyway, because I don't think we've really explored the crowd and whatnot in over when they go to Saudi Arabia, have they? So they'll all be amongst all the Saudi people and stuff, and you know, you always have like the the, 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 the people sat at the front of them count comfy chairs with their robes and stuff on. So it might be cool to watch, a bit interesting, I don't know how it's going to play out. But again, not overly invested, expecting an easy win for Drew. Souls against the Viking Raiders again <sighs> because of how wasted the Viking Raiders have become on the main roster they've been up for a while now and they just seem to have been wasted uh, and I love them I, d I don't see any real threat of them winning the, the Smackdown Tag Team Championships of the Usos at all so this is this has got to be the Usos easy Next up, we'll do the women's chamber match, and this is a uh, to determine who will be main event in for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. But we have Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, a do drop, um, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki Ash. So like I said, winner gets a Raw Women's Championship match at Mania. Um, and I wouldn't mind Rhea winning it, but I'm going to say no. Liv's not going to win it. Again, okay, wouldn't mind. Do drop. Don't care about Bliss. I find them very cringy at the minute, this whole trying to get out back to normal, trying to get out, I don't like it. Nikki SH don't care about it. It's got to go to my, to my girl, Bianca Belair. I friggin' adore Bianca Belair. She is outstanding and she is amazing at what she does. I mean, all these girls are, to be fair, but she is absolutely flawless. I picked her for the Royal Rumble, didn't happen, but I'm picking her for the Chamber. Um, Naomi and... Ronda Rousey against, I had a pure brain fart there, against Charlotte and Sonya Deville. Uh, just in a nice women's tag match. I'm assuming this is a nice way for, for the, for the, for the, for Rousey to get a win over Charlotte before they head into Mania. And then we could be like, oh, you know, you beat her at that tag match at Elimination Chamber. So, Sonya and Naomi, we know that feud, which is a feud I don't mind. I'm going to say Rousey and Naomi. This one I'm actually quite... I'm, no, I'm going to stick with it. I've said it now, so I'm going to stick with it. But I'm actually unsure. Rousey and Naomi. Question mark. Becky Lynch against Lita for the Raw Women's Championship. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be an awesome match. Lita's going to look amazing doing shenanigans. Becky's going to look awesome being a little shitty, badass, naughty shenanigans. But, of course, Becky Lynch is keeping her Raw Women's Championship Unfortunately, I'd love to see Elite as champion, but it's not happening. Roman Reigns against Goldberg in a match that we should have got two main years ago, two years ago. We should have got a little while back. Uh, I think they're just chugging this one in to have a big name in there for the Saudi show because it isn't something in the contract that you have to have big names or whatever. Uh, but we're, we're going to stick with with Roman Reigns. He's just going to squash, not squash, but he's going to beat 
Goldberg gets just away from me. Go, yeah, I beat him. This is what we should have done a while back. We filled our slot for Lemesh J, but we give the fans something on to Mania. It's, it's, it's not really significant about this match, but it's Roman Reigns. Finally, a match that I am really, really, really looking forward to, and I can't decide as it stands, but it's the Men's Elimination Chamber match featuring we have Edge Styles, we have Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, Matt Riddle, Bobby Lashley, and Austin Theory, who I friggin' love Austin Theory. How do we do this? Right, Austin, no. AJ, no. So that's two gone. Matt Riddle, no. That's three gone. Does Seth sneak in for it? No. No, Seth's gone. It's got to be Brock or Lashley, hasn't it? Brock Lesnar said he wanted to take on Roman Reigns at Mania. Champion versus champion. Does that happen? Does that come true? We know Brock was screwed over at uh, um, the Rumble against Lashley. Do we give... Brock and Lashley, the the two at the end, and he beats Lashley, and then makes it one all technique, so they can have a rubber match later down the line. Do we have Brock and Lashley in the final, and then I don't know, Usos or Roman come down again and cost him, which makes the match even bigger and better at Mania. Yeah, I think my last option. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Bobby Lashley. I want Brock, but I'm gonna say Bobby Lashley. To me, I think that makes more sense. We'll find out quite literally in just over 24 hours at this time of recording. That is. That was my predictions for WWE's uh, Elimination Chamber 2022 over in... Is it Jeddah they're in? Saudi Arabia? It's always in Jeddah. I can't remember. These shows sometimes just a bit... Yeah, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, this, this is well, this might be the most stacked card we've got. We've, we've got uh, three women's... Well, a chamber women's and two other women's. So the, the women, which is cool because the women's shit's getting a bit more um, recognised and bigger out over in Saudi because obviously women weren't allowed to do too much like five minutes ago now they're wrestling you know big matches which is good um yeah i think this is the biggest card we've had over in saudi i'm not quite sure one of you smarter people have to uh, educate me on that but visuals there's my predictions let me know yours in the comments below and hopefully we have a decent show no matter what i was always going to look forward to that chairman match because it looks beautiful i'll be eating my burger and chips and watching away and then it's the mere card fight right after get in visuals thanks for watching you guys it's the best but we'll just keep it in it and keep on keeping out <laughs>